John 3, 8. Spiritus ubi vult spirat, et vocem eius audis, sed non scis unde veniat, et quo vadat, sic est omnis qui natus est ex spiritu. The wind, or breeze, blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, or its voice, but you do not know from where it is coming and to where it is going. So is everyone who has been born from or of the Spirit. Here Jesus is continuing in his extraordinary discourse with the teacher Nicodemus. Spiritus, spirat, and wokem here are worth noting just because all three have more than one meaning, and there's an intentional ambiguity here in which spiritus in Latin can mean both a breeze or kind of a gentle wafting of air or wind, we might say, just most simply. Spirat can mean blows, but it can also mean breathe. Walks, of course, in addition to simply meaning sound, can also mean voice. So there are close links in terms of personification between the wind, as Jesus is talking about it here, and the spirit with a capital S. And this ambiguity is present to some extent, to a somewhat lesser extent, actually, in the Greek New Testament, but it's there. So just keep that in mind as we think about how to translate these words into English. Spiritus ubi vult spirat, et vocem eus audis, from audio, audire, of course, sed non scis unde veniat et quo vadat. Here we have two indirect questions. Okay, and remember in the case of indirect questions, we're going to use the subjunctive mood which is what we find here in both cases from venio, venire, and vado, vadere, of the third declension, vadat et veniat. So is everyone who has been born from the Spirit. There with our ablative singular of that fourth declension noun. Quo vadat may put you in mind of the famous saying, Domine, quo vadis? Where are you going, Lord? This is a, a phrase made famous in an apocryphal work called the Acts of Peter, probably from the late 2nd century AD, in which Peter meets Jesus on the road as Peter is actually leaving the city of Rome and fleeing persecution. And he meets Jesus, according to this, uh, this story, this legend, and Jesus says, I'm going to Rome to be crucified. And so Peter turns back around on the Appian Way and goes back to Rome where he meets a martyr's death. Uh, this phrase was also picked up in the famous novel by the Polish novelist Henryk Sienkiewicz, which some of you may have read. I read it uh, when I was a child, and I remember really enjoying it. But hey, if all of that helps you remember this verb, wado wadere, then that's that's a good thing. Unda weniat, whence it comes et quo wadat, to where it is going. Notice how compactly this is expressed in Latin, unde from where et quo to which place, simply using the ablative case in this idiom, quo wadat.